Okay, I'm on my way to the dollar store. Um, I need to pick up a nightlight. I come up with an idea the other day of something I wanted to do and uh, I needed a cadmium sulfide cell and I thought, well, I gotta find a, a radio shack here in town. Well, if I went and bought a CDS cell from Radio Shack, it's probably gonna cost me, I don't know, I'm guessing right around five bucks. But if I can go to a, a dollar store and find a nightlight that turns itself on at night and turns itself off during the day, it has a CDS cell in it. So let's go see if we can find one for a buck. I, uh, walking down the road here, and I seen this here. And since I was on my way down to the dollar store, I uh, forgot my money. I figured I had to come back and pick this up. It's a knife blade. I mean, it's a little beat up, but trash to treasure, that's what this is all about. Um, I've seen this here too. A nice chunk of aluminum. So I figured I'd pick this up too. Um, you know, while society's still running, aluminum's worth money. But even if, you know, shit hit the fan, whatever, you could probably make something out of this piece of cast aluminum. Um, I might have to check, scrape some shavings off this. This could be part of an old mower deck and actually be magnesium instead of aluminum. I actually seen this down there on the corner, oh gosh, probably about a week ago, and was gonna pick it up and forgot about it. I was on my way to the store, I was gonna pick it up on the way back and I forgot, and you know, here, over a week later, it's still laying there, so we stopped and picked it up. Okay, I went to the dollar store looking for a, a night light like these. And the only ones they had, had a switch here. You had to turn it on and off. And I needed an automatic one with this cadmium sulfide cell here. A little photo eye. So I ended up going to Walmart and I got a two pack for like four bucks. So I've got one for my project and an extra. And these are LED so I can use the LED for something else. Who knows? So we're going to pull one of these apart and uh, and see what we can do with it. Okay guys, the whole purpose of going to get these night lights was this the CDS cell, cadmium sulfide. It's like a photo eye, it's what turns the street lights on at night, turns them off in the morning. But the whole purpose of getting these night lights was something that I found on the floor at my old shop where I worked in California. It was this item here. It's got two switches. You can hear them click there, I'm sure. Um, it's got a laser and an LED. It's some little pen, laser light, keychain laser light that somebody had on their keychain. And this part fell on a, on the floor at work. It's got a little spring here to connect to the batteries. And the other side of the battery is actually the casing itself. I want to make this... I, I know it uses three little uh, button cell batteries. Or I did use, I should say three little button cell batteries when it worked originally but I know I can make this work off of uh, three triple A's or three double A batteries I mean I could make it off work off C cells D cells whatever but I want to make a laser perimeter alarm so I'm gonna use this little piece that I picked up piece of trash off the floor as my laser emitter I'm gonna find me some pieces of a mirror. I mean, I'm sure I probably should have picked one up today at the dollar store, a mirror, that I could have cut me some little mirror pieces out of. But I wanna use this as a laser perimeter alarm. So, 
I've got the, the laser beam, I've got the cadmium sulfide cell, and you've seen me have these before. Um, I picked this up at the dollar store today. It's got three of the button cells in there to make this alarm work, but I want to make it all one unit. Um, I will have to visit Radio Shack or something to pick up a battery holder or a battery, I don't know what you'd want to say, a uh, battery pack type thing that I can put, I want to run it, make it run on double A's. So I know I can pick one of them up for a couple bucks, but I mean in an emergency or in a survival situation, I mean anything that takes three or more batteries, you could make that work to make this happen. Um, the only thing is, is you know, this has that, that piezoelectric uh, speaker in here, which creates the, the siren sound, the, the wailing sound. But, uh, you know, if I can find these in a dollar store, you know, in a grid down, you know, shit hit the fan scenario, th this is probably going to be one of the last things people pick up. I mean, they might pick them up for the batteries. They might rip, you know, pick this pack up, rip it open, tear the tear it apart, take the batteries out of it. But they're not probably not going to want this part, the alarm part, because most people aren't going to think about perimeter alarms out of something like this for a buck. Um, I actually did a video on this earlier, I mean quite a while ago, and then I had bought I think six of these for like 12 bucks off of eBay. If I would waited a couple of months I could have got them at the dollar store for a buck. But this is all about you know finding things on the side of the road or wherever you can find them. It's trash to treasure type thing. Um, I found these earlier today. Um, I actually tested this. It is not magnesium. It is aluminum. Cast aluminum. I mean fairly heavy. So it goes in my metals box. I'll recycle that. The knife blade. I mean it's ch sure it's cheap China made but it's stainless steel and it's still a knife blade. So I'm sure I can do something with that. Just another little thing I found on the side of the road. Found this in California. A pair of snap ring pliers. You know, you see them laying on the side of the road. Why not pick it up? That's just a, uh, you know, this uh, this is my. I don't know. This is going to be a series of videos. I want to do a, a series of trash to treasure videos, but pliers out of the way, knife blade out of the way, one of these out of the way. This is going to be what I'm going to try to build. I'm going to try to take the cadmium sulfide cell out of here, use this laser device as my perimeter uh, laser beam. I got to get some mirrors, and then this is going to be my alarm. So I'm going to try to make a laser perimeter alarm. And, you know, out of a, a little keychain laser beam. I want to make this out of this uh, little keychain laser beam, laser pointer, that I found on the shop where I used to work in California. So we're going to try to take that. This I paid two bucks for at Walmart. This I paid a dollar for at the dollar store. Um, I have to visit Radio Shack. I see there's one. It's like five miles away. Be a nice long walk next weekend. But I need a project box to put all this stuff in. And we're gonna, you know, tear this apart obviously. And get inside here to the electronics. Yeah, it's not going to come open right now. I have to get a screwdriver. But we're going to turn these into a laser perimeter alarm. And we're going to walk you guys through it and show you what you, you know, show you what we do. Well, I 
almost forgot. There was one thing I wanted to show you that I found on the side of the road. Another little piece of somebody's trash is this little thing here. Um, at first I thought it was like a top to a monster can, but when I took a look closer look at it, it's got a compass on it. I found it on the side of the road. It's like a little cap. I mean, if anybody knows where this came from or or what, let me know. I'm curious of its origin. But the other day I just noticed that the compass pops out. The compass is a total separate piece. It was glued in there and I just happened to push on it and pop it out of there. I mean, I don't know what it came from. I mean, like I said, it looks to me like a, a cap to a, a monster can or a drink can and the compass was popped in there. It was actually glued in there. But I just happened to pop it out of there and I was like, <laughs> well, that's another nice little, I mean, you can tell it's small, but it's an accurate compass. I checked it with a, my, my other compass. So that's just another trash to, you know, trash to treasure thing. Something I found on the side of the road. Oops. Good thing it's not glass. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's what this series is all about. You know, things you find and what you can do with them. So we've got a nice little compass there. We've got a nice laser beam here that we're going to see if we can't make a laser perimeter alarm out of. And that's what this series is going to be about.